This is the ruined tower. This is made from mold number 65. And this is the original ruined tower that I had built uh, for the instructions on the website. And this is the only version of the ruined tower that I had ever built. The top is made of dental stone and the bottom is made of insulating foam. What I'm going to do is uh, give it a quick once around. If you take a look around on it, the uh, bottom rock that was carved, that was one of my earlier attempts at attempting to... Uh, uh, kind of make rock look like rock if you cut it out of foam. But I'll just give you kind of a quick once around on this one. The uh, uh, inspiration for this was basically weather top from Lord of the Rings. It was kind of what I was trying to create. Uh, it's kind of an iconic piece. This is the one, if you've ever been to Gen Con when we were there, this piece was always on the table. So this is the original one that you would have seen at Gen Con. Uh, I do want to mention... Uh, one year, we actually uh, designed t-shirts following this design. They had the design of the Ruined Tower on the t-shirt. And I thought it was kind of interesting. Somebody pointed out to me that this particular comic book right here, uh, let's see which one that is, if you can read it. Uh, this is uh, Obi-Wan and Anakin. It's a Star Wars comic book. If you look inside, they pointed this out, that the artist actually used my round tower design for one of the panels in the comic book. I thought that was really cool. If you take a look at it, and if I kind of compare it to this right here, if you see this little uh, side tower that's out here, this rounded tower, that's a little round tower that you see out there. If you see this broken off step right here with the arch that you got right there, uh, that's actually this broken off arch broken off arch here and you can see the the broken tips at the top so that's actually uh, what that was i was i was really i thought that was really cool that somebody actually would borrow that design and use it inside the comic books anyway this is the one and only uh this is a pretty good size it's pretty big it measures about 17 inches in diameter and it's about a foot tall and like i said it's not really too heavy you could actually grab it like this and just lift up the whole thing because that's uh it's just insulating foam that's on the bottom and of course on the bottom i'd uh, uh, sign things like i usually do on it so you know that this is the uh the one and only original rain tower the only one i'd ever made and that's the one that you see uh, uh photos of on the website and probably seen at Gen Con. Now I thought I'd zoom in on this a little bit so you could kind of see the detail. This is meant for 28 millimeter figure. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set a 28 millimeter figure up here. And so you can kind of see that how he relates to the size on there. I'll put another one. I'm gonna put an orc down below here. So that's what an orc would look like. Uh, and then close up, you can kind of see the detail on it on the side round towers there uh, and on the side round tower there. So there's kind of a close-up of, uh, of the rocks that are on there. And let's just do kind of a once-around close-up. Let's, let's spin it around, and, and you can kind of see a close-up of uh, uh, the side right there. And let's spin it around again, and we'll kind of get the back side. So you can actually see there's a pathway, and there's kind of a central circular tower on the inside. Uh, and then this other side that uh, is rounded out on this side. So that's basically uh, uh, what this whole piece is. Not sure where in the world you would uh, put this thing.